Hey everybody, it's Safi and Marco dishing out on movies. The only movie review show on YouTube to review movies in terms of food. And it's just Marco here once again. And, you know, the, the craziest thing happened with this new moon. It's kind of funny because it, it, it coincides with the events of the movie. Uh, because, as I said in the commentary, and now let's, let's just explain what happened. Last year, I started a Valentine's Day tradition because I hate Valentine's Day. It is the worst holiday of the year uh, by far. It is terrible. It's horrible. And it is the worst. And I thought, you know what would be fun? If every year I could have a fun tradition for myself to have fun where I do a commentary and it's fun, it's funny, and... You know, even if people don't like it, at least I have fun doing it on Valentine's Day. You know, it's not like Christmas where it's like on Christmas you get presents and stuff like that. Uh, but I started a tradition of reviewing, I mean not reviewing, commentating over Twilight movies last year. I did the first one last year. It was horrible. It was god-awful. It had a story to it, but... The story was terrible and it really wasn't worth it. It was, you know, I've seen the same type of story done, but done really good. Uh, if you guys have ever seen Being Human, the U.S. version, that show is a much better way of doing this story. Where you have this vampire and Aiden, Aiden Waith, I think his name is, or Wake or Wade, whatever, Aiden is a vampire from the, from the, uh, from, fuck, uh, he, he's a vampire from like the 1800s or something, and he, he, he wants to be human, he wants to have relationships, and the, the whole show is built around that, and he is actually roommates with a werewolf named Josh, his best friend, and a ghost named Sally. And the whole series is just really, really good. And I love it. Uh, I have never rewatched it, but it, it just, I can remember all the story. It, it, it's so much darker. It's so much more violent. It's sexier because the characters are ugly and gross looking. Like, ugh. And, and now, so what happened was I decided I'm going to make it really fun. I, I, Printed out another cardboard cutout person to watch the movie with me since I have to do it by myself. And I got a whole heart box of chocolates. <laughs> and I ate like half of the box <laughs> watching the movie. And I had two beers. And it was a really good commentary for the most part. Uh, except for in the second half when I got really, really bored to the point of where I was playing with my glasses and I accidentally flung them behind the couch because I was just so bored. And then I spent like five minutes looking for my glasses and then I accidentally shut off the, the movie. And it was really, really funny. And <laughs> there were these parts where I was yelling because I was so mad at the stupid stuff I was seeing on screen. And it was it was actually like a good commentary. And it was all for nothing. Because I did it on Twitch. And this is the third time now that this has happened. Uh, the, the first time, as I explained, I explained this on the commentary that got deleted. In the Halloween 1 and 2 remake drunk commentaries... For some reason, the next day, it appeared and the first 30 minutes were erased. Inexplicably. No explanation from them. Nothing. It was like a glitch. I have no idea what happened. And then we also did a commentary recently, in January, I think. And right after I finished it, it disappeared. It never even saved onto the channel. Guess what happened with this one? The same fucking thing. So I did this whole 
two and a half hour commentary. I was going to have to edit it tomorrow after the Texas Chainsaw Remake commentary review. And it was for nothing. It all deleted and disappeared. So that really pisses me off. And so I am never going to be using Twitch again. Like, if you guys wonder, why, why, Marco, why aren't you using Twitch? Because I'm not going to use a platform that deletes my footage. You know, like, uh, I, I specifically chose that platform so that I could film these long videos and then edit them down uh, at my own pace. And the fact that, like, I, I have to worry about, like, is it going to save... Uh, trash. I'm not doing that. Fuck that. Uh, so, I am just going to review Twilight New Moon. And who knows, I might do something special for Valentine's Day still. Uh, because I feel kind of like now, like this is another Napoleon Dynamite situation. And to be honest, the Napoleon Dynamite commentary was even better. Uh, and, and that's another one where... I couldn't even upload it. You know, I tried a million times to edit it. And these commentaries, they're a disaster. It's really weird because last year I did like 50 commentaries. And now I can't even see how I got one done but because of these fucking technical issues. So, and, and you know, the, the, the sad thing is, is that if I had a thousand subscribers right now, I would be able to stream on YouTube. So, I wouldn't even have to worry about saving video or anything, or even editing, because I would just be able to stream the video, and that'd be it. So, I can't wait to get a thousand subs, uh, so that I can do that. And I know it's been seven minutes, and I haven't, re I haven't even reviewed the movie, but it was very important for me to talk about that, because this was supposed to be a commentary... And uh, it's really terrible that they deleted all of that great footage. Uh, I'm just thinking back and like, God, there's so many funny moments. Ugh, such a shame. Such a terrible waste. I mean, I wasted two and a half hours. I mean, why did I even do that? Why did I even eat a half a box of chocolates? <sighs> so, Twilight New Moon... This movie was a complete disaster. It was not only a bad movie, but it didn't even feel like a movie. It felt like a filler movie uh, so that the, the people could take a break for part three. It felt like, what's that guy's name? Robert Pattinson. It felt like he wanted to take a break or he was off shooting something more important or something. Because this movie, the plot structure was terrible. The structure of it was like this. At first, she's having dreams. And they're really disturbing her. And there's this really cringeworthy stuff throughout the movie. Where she's having these bad dreams. And she's like having her little tantrums. And, and crying. And her dad has to come in and comfort her. While she's having these nightmares. And it's just, it's really cringeworthy. Uh, these scenes with these dreams. And then her and Edward. They're having some problems. Because the family. They're having trouble resisting killing her. Because she's a human. They want to eat her. And it's funny because this whole movie. This whole movie. Wouldn't have happened. If, she, if he had just turned her into a vampire at the end of the last movie. So this whole movie is just a huge waste. Because, uh, and that's why I said that, that this coincides with the commentary. Because in the movie, Edward leaves for Italy with his family. And he goes to Italy for the whole movie, basically. And so it's, it's almost like it's funny because... You know, the commentary disappeared and left too. And so it's like Edward left and the commentary footage left. That's pretty funny. <laughs> um, 
I guess I guess it works out that way. That 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 makes me feel better. Uh so he leaves and they're having problems anyway. And in the meantime she is uh she's hanging out with this guy named Jacob and he is a werewolf and he is played by Shark Boy and I saw him in Shark Boy vs. Lava Girl before this movie and let me tell you Shark Boy vs. Lava Girl is a way better movie than the Twilight movies <laughs> and I know I'll get some laughs for that but it's true I mean this movie it's I will say too the best stuff was the first 30 minutes because at least it felt like there were some scenes happening you know where you have a scene where people talk people do things as the movie went on and on people stopped interacting as much they started just doing these weird things and making these weird decisions that would like make you just scratch your head and like weird weirdness like like what is she doing what is he doing like why is this happening it's just so boring and so pointless but in the first part of the movie there are a couple of really queer things that happen one of them of course the nightmare stuff that was that was really funny i mean this bitch She's just, like, so pathetic. And that's the other thing, is that in the first movie, Bella was pathetic, you know, because she's a typical modern love interest, where she's, you know, it's funny because you see all these people, and they talk about love interests from the 1940s, and how helpless they are, and how pathetic and weak they are, but... I just watched a movie from the 40s the other day and in that movie the main char- the main love interest she actually duels with the main guy and she shoots and kills him and and she becomes a badass hero at the end and so it just makes me laugh when people you know they want to act like movies nowadays they've improved women they've made them a lot more stronger and more independent but in this movie I'm sorry but this character she is just so ugh I mean she's ugly as hell Kristen Stewart she is ugly as hell I mean she looks like a man Uh, she's flat chested she's gross she's ugly and it's like you're centering this entire series around a girl who is just unscrewable and so that just completely doesn't make sense because this is a this is a romance series. You should be setting your series around a character who's actually attractive. You know, they had another character in the movie named Alice, and she she was actually a better character than Bella. And so I thought that that was, like, pretty pathetic, that this whole series... And really, the the, the funny thing is that in the first movie, she wasn't as bad as this. In this in this second movie, she is bad. She is really bad. She's not just fuck ugly, but she's also pathetic as hell. And she's she's so weak and just ugh, like a crybaby. And you know the way that she acts, where she, you know she she wants to have a motorcycle so that she can ride a motorcycle and then crash. And then she wants to jump off a cliff so that she can be saved by her Edward. And I saw that on the Nostalgia Critic years ago, or I can't remember, Erod, the blockbuster buster, I can't remember. But I watched their Twilight reviews years ago, and I remember them talking about that and how like awful of a message it is for young girls to see this movie and to have that message of like, you know, to get attention from a guy, you know, you have to kill yourself, or you have to do something like this, it's really gross, (laughs) and something else, uh, in, in the first part of the movie, they have this kind of funny, comedic sequence where a guy from school who, you know, he's, he's a normal guy, he's a nice guy, and so therefore he's not good enough for 
uh, ugly ass Kristen Stewart, crackhead Kristen Stewart. So she, uh, he asks her to go on a date to a movie. And she says, yeah, of course. Uh, do you guys want to go too? And she asks all of her other friends like, ugh, what a bitch. What a complete bitch. And so then they go to the movies and she also invited Jacob. And I thought, God, this, this bitch, like she is just so unlikable. I want to punch her in the face. Like just anyone would want to punch this bitch in the face. Like, ugh. What like what kind of a character is this twat, uh, Bell Swan, Bella Swan, ugh, and so, they're in this action movie, and this this guy he's so gay he wanted to take her to see a romantic comedy. I mean, no man in the universe, uh, no real man would want to take a woman to go see a romantic comedy. I mean, I have wanted to watch romantic comedies before. Uh, like a few and far between, but like Monster in Law, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I would never be like, hey, uh, you want to go on a date to see a romantic comedy? Like, ugh, gross. Why? Who would want? What kind of a man would want to do that? Like, just really pathetic. And so she sa- she says, like, no, let's go see an action movie called Face Punch. And it's like, this is pathetic. You know, you guys can literally name any action movie and and it'd be fine because, you know, you don't need the copyright for that because it's just a reference. And so I thought that that was really fucking retarded. Uh, And then they see the movie and this guy who wanted to see a rom-com, he gets up in the middle of the movie and he runs to the bathroom to puke because... He's such a pussy. He can't handle the fucking action movie on screen. And I gotta call... I gotta call bullshit on that. I can guarantee you that there has never been a man in history who has watched an action movie and then got up and puked because of the violence in an action movie. I can guarantee you If you're talking about a war movie, maybe. But an action movie, no. And so that was retarded. And then, after that, there's another sequence of seeing a movie. Where she goes with Anna Kendrick to see a zombie movie. And then, if if this movie wasn't bad enough, this was the part where I screamed. Like, this was the part where I got really pissed off. This bitch, Anna Kendrick, has the nerve to criticize zombie movies. Why are there so many zombie movies? Zombie movies are stupid. Uh, It's a metaphor about consumerism. Uh, And it's like, bitch, you have no right. This movie has fucking no right to criticize anything. This movie has no right to to call zombie movies trash when you're li- when this movie literally catered to the death of zo- to, of vampires this movie literally catered to a whole generation of 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 of, of, of I, I don't even want to say it uh, of you, you know what c u n t s okay this ju- this this movie series created thousands and thousands of c u n t s uh, because of this movie. And uh, so I don't want to hear any of this bullshit about zombie movies not being good. Because every single fucking zombie movie I've seen is way better than these fucking Twilight movies. And that's me being generous. Uh, Survival of the Dead, way better than these movies. Uh, the Day of the Dead remake, way better than these movies. Okay? And so I don't want to hear any of that bullshit and there's this part where Kristen Stewart, she she rides a motorcycle. There's this guy and she hallucinates that he's Edward. There's like a, she like sees him as a hologram everywhere throughout the movie. Like, God, this, this Bella bitch is so pathetic. Like, it just, ugh. 
Like, ooh, she'd be the perfect victim for, like, a serial killer movie. Like, just everyone would cheer if, like, a serial killer picked her up and killed her in a movie. Like, I'd be like, yeah, clap, 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 clap. Get rid of that Bella bitch. Let's move on and watch a movie about Alice and Jacob or something like that. Like, let, let's, let's make a better movie, you know, written by someone with talent, you know, instead of this fucking garbage. And so... Edward leaves, and for, I'm not kidding you, 80% of the movie, she's just hanging out with Jacob, hanging out with Jacob, and here we get to another modern movie cliche, is that you have the sexualization of men, and then not the sexualization of women, and so uh, this Jacob character, he's shirtless through the whole movie, uh, and then his whole pack of wolves, because uh, he's a werewolf, his whole werewolf pack, they're all shirtless the whole movie, too. And it's like, what are we doing here? Like, it's, fi it's fine when it makes sense, but it did not make sense. They're just running around with their shirts off like they're fucking little uh, hoodlums, like they're fucking a couple of little uh, uh, junkies running around with their shirts off. Like, ugh, this is so weird. And so gay, and 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 the oh, and the fact that uh, that they all like have a thing for this ugly Bella girl, like ugh, gross. Nobody wants to see that. And so uh, that's the whole movie is just her hanging out with Jacob, and so it's basically a reversal of the first movie. The first movie is her just hanging out with Edward, uh, and then he and then she gets chased around by another vampire who wants to kill her. But then the second movie is literally just her hanging around with Jacob the whole movie. I hated that. I really hated that. And then what happens then? And then she uh, oh yeah, <laughs> and then she sees like a hologram or. There, oh, yeah, there's a misunderstanding. Like, it's funny because the first one didn't even have any misunderstandings. Uh, and the second one, though, there's a misunderstanding. And Edward is going to kill himself after he reveals himself as a vampire to the public in Italy. So she travels to Italy uh, with Alice. <laughs> Alice, <laughs> and then she saves Edward, and then there's this big agreement about her becoming a vampire, and then he says, okay, I'll turn you into a vampire if you marry me, and then Jacob gets mad, and that's the end. I'm not kidding you. Like, what a giant piece of shit this movie was. What a complete waste of time. I mean, as I said, the arc of this movie is literally just Bella is gonna is has to become a vampire. That's it. That's the whole movie. And it's funny because you didn't even need all that stuff with Jacob because at the end of the movie she says, I would never don't make me choose between you and Edward because I'll choose Edward over you all day long even though you're a much better person than Edward. And so, like, it's, it's so pointless. Like, so why even have this whole movie where it's just all about Jacob? It's, oh, ugh, oh, oh, God. So stupid. And the werewolves, they look terrible. The CGI looked awful. They looked like just these... PS2 computer monsters, like, they look so weak and so just, like, dull and ugly and, and they, they just look so poor. Like, it just, ugh. Like, make, make werewolves using practical effects, you fucking lazy asses. <laughs> like, that's what I have to say about that. So, yeah. Anyways, and, and something else that's funny, too, that I noticed was that the movie's all about this bitch, this ugly bitch, and Edward. But the funny thing is, and, and by the way, I know that I've criticized 
Bella's appearance the whole video, but Edward looks terrible too. I mean, he looks like a, like a fucking emo weirdo. And it's just the fact that like, if, if I, if I'll start, I'll start calling him a faggot and stuff like that, because that's what he fucking looks like in this movie. He looks like a fucking faggot and, and he looks terrible and he looks girly and, and dumb and just, I want to punch him in the face too. Uh, but not as much as her. Like I want to punch both of these fucking losers in the face. These characters are so unlikable. And and you and, and to have a romance series where the characters are this unlikable is just dumb. But what's funny is that the whole series is focused around Edward. And yet the sequels are all focused around Jacob in terms of the titles. You have New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. Those are all titles that relate to the nighttime and the sky and the moon. And so even, and so that's what's funny, is that, is that why are the titles, is it just because it's easier to come up with those titles? So I thought that that was fucking hilarious. The fact that the titles are all centered around a character who is basically, I mean, he, he what was the point? There was literally no point for him to being in this movie other than he saves the selfish bitch's life multiple times. That's the only reason that he's in this movie. And so now I'm going to rate it in terms of food as I did in the video. I give the first one. And now the problem with this movie is that there's no plot and that the movie feels directionless and it's a huge mess. I give the first movie, though, a baloney sandwich because it's terrible and it's bad and it's gross, but at least it's a sandwich. And the second one is someone hands you a piece of bread with cheese and then you go, what's this? And you throw it on the floor and they say, uh, oh, okay. And then they put a piece of bologna on the bread and the cheese and pick it up off the floor, and then you eat that too. That's what this movie is. It's just a complete mess. It's gross. It's uh, uh, nothing. So I am not excited for the third one. Uh, at this point, like, there's no point. Like, there, there's literally no point. There's no story. Like, what's going to be the story? He, he marries her. He has a kid with her. Who cares? Who fucking cares? There's better stories in being human. Okay, like go watch Being Human if you want to see a story about a, a real vampire and a real woman uh, and not this bullshit. And so anyways, I apologize once again uh, for using Twitch uh, and having a commentary get deleted. Uh, I, I, it, it's beyond me of why that, that app would be so broken even though it's so popular and so please like this video comment and tell me what you thought of twilight new moon uh, i hated it it's way worse than the first one in fact it makes me actually defend the first one which is even worse you know actually the first one is way better than this like the first one was an f minus this movie was an f minus 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 Okay, that's how bad this is. It's it's not even a movie. I wouldn't even consider it a movie. And then please subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more movie reviews in the future. Uh, Twilight movie, I mean Twilight commentaries I guess you could say. So goodbye everybody, see you soon.